We have dove into the AI because we were really curious about what it could do, its limitations, and how we could leverage it. We really get hit with a lot of different complicated questions just because of the, the market and the area that we're in for our operations. Some of the technologies can get pretty complicated, so without you know a deep domain engineering degree in, in chemical, electrical, etc., sometimes it's hard to, to understand some of those technologies, and you really have to quickly get up to speed. Is this technology real? Is it applicable? You know, is it scalable? From a curious standpoint, we dove into chat GPT to see how we could leverage it, and we have. We've used it quite a bit. Our analysis internally would say right now it's probably about an 80-20 rule is what we use. It can quickly get you that 80% of intelligence that you need to get up to speed and kind of be dangerous. We still have on the back end that 20% really getting things across the line is up to the individual. Everyone always has to face like a 20-30% of their activity on something that they don't like to do in every single job, but if you can get some help from the technology, which at the end of the day means to simplify things, I think that artificial intelligence could play a key role. That's I see generative AI as a huge opportunity in terms of enhancing uh, the job that we are doing. I don't see it as a substitution of what we are doing or people management in terms of uh, being a machines only approach, but I truly believe that uh, a human augmented with the artificial intelligence approach, it's the real reason why. So to have uh, an additional layer in terms of a wider scale and wider information that we can provide both to the startups, but even uh, internally so we don't waste time with routines uh, activities that can be leveraged by by ai and we will be able to focus much more on what makes the difference from the innovation point of view